We are thrilled to be here in yes. Berlin with Deadpool. This whole world tour. You know, normally actors pretend they're really happy to be on a world tour. Uh, we've been looking forward to this for a year. I mean, and that's I think that's driven by two things: our friendship and then our ab genuine ad adoration of this movie. I mean, it's, this has been a every every aspect of it has been such a joy and a labor of love. And there's so much you know frustration in the world right now. And to make a movie that sort of its principal engine is joy. Um, and you know, in unity and about friendship, it's just been amazing. And then doing all that in a context that's still subversive and super unexpected. I mean, who wouldn't want to run around and talk about that? You know, the first place I—I uh, I don't know if you guys know this—the first place we showed Logan was here in Berlin at the Berlin Film Festival. And so, I was not sure I'd be able to top that experience. And in this film. For me, it topped that experience, and I'm so proud of the film, so it's a perfect place to bring it back. Yeah. I think that any time you get two characters who really don't belong together, but they are forced to be together, I think that's a good starting point for comedy and conflict, and ultimately a story of connection and friendship. I've never been so sad when a movie ended. Yeah. You know, both it had two endings. I mean, it had the ending of the shooting the movie, and then it had the ending a week and a half ago where we locked the movie, and and that's it. You know, so I was. I still sad. haven't left Ryan's house. I just live there. Yes, he and, will not leave. And if he doesn't want to do another film with me, that's fine. But I'm not leaving the house. No, the couch is a fix. It'll be to him easy now. for him to work with me. Yeah, I thought not. those were pants, but it turned out it was my whole couch. <laughs> that's his, that's where he lives now. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. It's like such we've had such an incredible welcome, and it's been. I've been nervous. I've never done a press tour like this before but yeah, you've made me feel very at home and very at ease and that's, I'm very grateful, thank you. I did some vintage shopping, <laughs> which is my way of seeing a city and yeah, it was incredible, everyone's been so nice. I'm so in now, I'm hooked, um, I'm making my way through, I've got like the people closest to me who know the most about Marvel to make me sort of a list of things to watch first and um, I'm digging in slowly, but it's been an incredible thing to become a part of. I mean, it's these, these films, these stories have such legacy and people care about them and have watched them since they were children, since they're adults and all throughout their lives and it can mean so many different things to you and it's, yeah, it's incredible to be a part of. They are icons and yeah, they're the most down-to-earth, nicest guys you'll ever meet and they've cared about me from like start to finish and always made me feel like there was no need to feel any imposter syndrome, which I definitely did waking up my first morning of shooting. So you're going to be laughing from start to finish. I mean, I'm in the film and I'm normally terrified and hate watching myself, but I did not stop laughing start to finish. But you'll also be incredibly moved. It's a story about friendship. It's a story that will uplift you, and that's everything the world needs right now. It was trying to figure out what the movie was going to be. You know, Ryan is very clear that there's a reason that there were six years between the last movie. You know, the expectation is so high because the quality of the film has to be excellent. So the biggest challenge was figuring out what the movie was going to be. But as soon as he raised his hand and said he wanted to do it, we had a script in eight weeks. We were shooting six months later. Oh my God, yes. I would love to go to every city in the world and watch it with people because having watched it a couple times with audiences, it's really just a communal experience of shared joy. Because it's awesome, it's going to be amazing, and you have two icons playing roles they were born to play. It honestly feels like destiny to me.